Greetings to all. Welcome back to Social Online Classes. Last class, we learned the many things from lesson 6, Middle Ages. That is the second part of the lesson. Okay. And in that second part, we learned the rise of Islam. Division of this Islam, Sunni and Shia, Omeyyad dynasty, Abbasid dynasty, disintegration of the Arabs, Seljuk Turks, Crusades and the effects of the Crusades, Ottoman Turkish Empire and so on. Okay. And today we are going to learn the third part of Lesson 6 Middle Ages. Third part of lesson 6, Middle Ages. That is the feudalism. Okay, feudalism. Christianity and the Islam are the two religions, were the powerful religions in those days. Christianity as well as Islam. These two religions hold the people. Two religions hold the people. But the economic life of the people was governed. The government means here determined, decided by feudal relations only. Okay. The king was considered as the representative of God on earth. Okay. King was considered as the representative of God on earth. And he was the head of the feudal rule. He was the head of a feudal rule. Next to the king, three sets of people, nobles, counts and thirds. Nobles, counts and thirds. And the nobles divided and distributed their fief, F-I-E-F. Fief means land, okay. And they got divided and distributed their lands to the lesser nobles. Lesser nobles. The lesser nobles are also called as viscounts or barons. Viscounts or barons. That is lesser nobles. In this order, the last place was given to the hands of the knights. Last place was there. That is given for knights. K N I G H T S knights. These knights cannot divide their lands. Okay, cannot divide their lands. At the bottom, villains were there. At the bottom, villains were there. These villains were also called as serfs. S E R F S. These villains were slaves. You know, also many of slaves are demigod. Okay, in the feudal system, this vassalage, vassalage means dependence. Vassalage was there. So, equality and freedom was not there. Equality was not there and freedom was also not there. What's the reason? Because vassalage system was there. Dependence. Vassalage means what? Dependence. So, that no equality and no freedom was there. Okay. But rights and obligations were there. Obligations means duties. Rights and obligations were there. Bishops. Abodes and the cardinals, bishops, abodes and the cardinals came under the socio-political structure. Came under socio-political structure. Bishops, religious head in the district level, religious head in the district level, that is bishops. Abodes means a chief among the Christian priests and church. Chief among the Christian priests and also church. Cardinals, next to cardinals, cardinals, the priest next to pope, the priest next to pope. So, bishops, abbots and the cardinals, okay, they were coming under the socio-political structure. The clergy and the nobility did not do any physical work. Clergy and this, oh, this nobility, clergy and nobility did not do any physical work. So, the burden of producing these food products, okay, producing food products and other necessary things fell on the peasants as well as artisans. So, what we can understand from here, peasants and also artisans only should do maximum work, particularly producing food products and other necessary things, okay. Next, we will see the church. 
Okay, that's all. New elements were included in the Christian theology. New elements were included in the Christian theology. Theology, you know, that is irreal. Okay, irreal. They were the theory of a priesthood and the theory of a sacraments. Theory of a priesthood and the theory of a sacraments. Sacraments means the puni the chadamikrip. Okay, these two elements increased the power of the clergy. These two elements increase the power of the clergy. What are the two elements? Theory of a priesthood. Okay, theory of a priesthood and also theory of a sacraments. These two elements increase the power of the clergy. The church was developed in the later middle ages. Okay, church was developed in the later middle ages. The growth of the church paved the way for the rise of ambitious political leaders. Okay, the growth of the church paved the way for the rise of ambitious political leaders. Ambitious means peras. Okay, political leaders. And a conflict started between the German Emperor Henry IV. The conflict started between German Emperor Henry IV and Pope Gregory VII. Okay, Pope Gregory VII. In this conflict, Pope used this interdict. Pope used the interdict. Interdict means mother will come. Okay, mother will come. And make the emperor to abdicate the throne. Abdicate the throne means a father Okay, removed from power. Okay. And Pope Innocent III. Pope Innocent III used this interdict and forced King John, forced King John to recognize England and Ireland as the land of papacy, as the fugue of papacy, that is England and Ireland, behind that is the area or the region of papacy. Papacy means the Okay. Many Christians opposed the intrusion or intervention of a pope in the state affairs. Okay. This is the end of the lesson. Okay. Now this is the time for marking the question answers. So children all should take your books and will mark the question answers. Page number 85 Roman number 1 choose the correct answer. Page number 85 Roman number 1 choose the correct answer. Question number 1 Dash was the old religion of Japan. Answer A. Shinto. Question number 2. Dash means great name Lord. Answer A. Daimyo. Question number 3. The Arab general who conquered Spain was Dash. Answer A. Tariq. Fourth question. Harunal Rashid was the Able Emperor of Dash. Answer A. Abbasid Dynasty. Question number 5. Feudalism centered around Dash. Answer A. Vassalage. Vassalage. Roman number 2. Fill in the blanks. Roman number 2. Fill in the blanks. Dash were the original inhabitants of Japan. Anus. Anus. Second one. Dash was the original name of Japan. Yamato. Yamato. Question number three. Dash was the original name of Medina. Madinat on Nabi. Madinat on Nabi. Question number four. Dash were the barbarians posing a threat to the Chinese in the north. Mongols. Fourth answer. Mongols. Take page number 86. Page number 86. Question number five. Dash established Ottoman supremacy in the Balkans. Answer Muhammad II. Muhammad II. Now Roman number 3. Find out the correct statement. Find out the correct statement. For question number 1, D is the correct answer. For question number 1, D is the correct answer. For question number 2, C is the correct answer. C is the correct answer. Question number 3, B C and D. Question number 3. B, C and D are the correct answers. Question number 4. A is the correct answer. A is the correct answer. 
Question number five, D is the correct answer. Question number five, D is the correct answer. Go to match the following. That is Roman number four. Roman number four. First one, red turbans. Chu Yuang Chang. Chu Yuang Chang. Seljuk Turks, the second one. Central Asia. Central Asia. Question number three. First show Gunate. Kamakura. Kamakura. Question number four. Baghdad. City of Arabian Nights. Question number five. Capture of Constantinople. Mohammed II. See the right side. The answers. Three, five, four, one, two. Three, five, four, one, two. Now, Roman number 5, answer the following briefly. Answer the following briefly. Question number 1, that is page number 78. Question number 2, 82, 83 pages. Question number 3, page number 83. Question number 4, page number 84. Okay. Now, you have to go to page number 78. See what tabular column is there, Great Wall of China. That tabular column, the tab, that is the paragraph fully. Great Wall of China paragraph fully. Roman number 5, first answer. Question number 2, that is page number 82, 83. 82, 83. See under the heading. Impact of crusades. Impact of crusades. First line. Crusades entered the feudal relations and come down to 3, 4, 5, 6th line middle. 6th line middle. Increasing demand. Increasing demand from there up to next page. East and West. 3rd line middle. East and West. Next to the last sentence. 1. Notable outcome up to open paper C. Open the paper C. That is the answer. Now question number 3. How was feudalism organized in the Middle Ages? That is question number 3. That answer is page number 83. Page number 83. See under the heading that the feudalism picture. Okay. That powerful. That is the king supposed to represent God from there. Up to they are called slaves. They are called slaves. That is that paragraph only. Now question number 4. Page number 84. Take 84. 84. One tabular column. That is excommunication. Up to the end of that one. Resentment against him. Resentment against him. Now Roman number 6. We will see later. And 7. Go to 7th Roman number. Question number 1. Write about the crusades and its impact. That is page number 82, 83. Question number 2. Who were the Mongols? How did they rule China? That is page number 83 and 79. First of all, you have to write the answer from page number 83 and after that you have to go to page number 79. Now take page number 82 and 83. First of all, see the heading, Crusades and the Fall of Seljuk Turks. Okay, in that paragraph from the beginning, that is the heading from the beginning, the Pope and the Church, from that, that paragraph fully, and the second paragraph, first three lines, that is for another 700 years. Plus, we already marked now, Roman number 5, 2, that also, Roman number 5, Two second answer we mark now. That also you have to add for this answer. And then next question, page number 83, take page number 83. That is what tabular column Mongols and Chengish Khan. Chengish Khan's picture is also there. That paragraph fully, that is 72. And again go to page number 79. Page number 79. Page number 79, that is First two lines before Yuan dynasty, the Mongols established their rule in the name of Yuan dynasty. And next come under Yuan dynasty, 
From the third line, Mangu Khan became the great Khan in 1252 who appointed Kublai Khan from there. Up to the end of the paragraph, proclaimed himself emperor in 1369. 13. With this, I finish it today's session. I hope you all mark the question answers, prepare well and study all the question answers thoroughly. Okay, I will meet you in the next session with the next lesson that is lesson 7. State and society in the medieval India. Okay, state and society in the medieval India. That is lesson 7. Bye.